Eslicarbazepine acetate is a drug for partial onset seizures, um, which are seizures that start in part of the brain, and they can spread to include the whole brain. So it was approved by FDA in 2013, and we just got approval for monotherapy use a couple months ago, and the drug is doing very well, helping so patients around the country. This is a drug that's best for partial onset seizures. We don't have data for other seizure types. In adults, that's far and away the most common kind of seizure. In younger children, we don't have data. Other seizure types are far more common. We do have some patients in whom seizures stop, but seizure-free outcome with medications in patients who aren't seizure-free already is not common. But it does make seizures less frequent, and one of our posters looked at seizure severity which is a unique measure um, that we use the seizure severity scale and showed that eslicarbazepine acetate makes seizures less severe in addition to less frequent. Like many other seizure drugs, it, the exact mechanism of action isn't known, but it's thought to block sodium channels in ner neurons, nerve cells in the brain. So that prevents them from getting firing too rapidly during a seizure. Our original approval was for addition to other therapies, but then we worked on a monotherapy program, and earlier this year, we got FDA approval for use of eslicarbazepine acetate, either as adjunctive or monotherapy, over a broad range of doses. That's why medicine's an art, isn't it? So um, what, a practitioner, what a practicing physician might do would be start the patient on the drug, see how they do. If they're doing well with the drug, if they're a responder, they might then start to take away the older drugs that weren't working for that patient. There's a, there's a range of doses. So in, normal, in people with normal renal function, the starting dose is 400 milligrams, escalate once a week by 400 milligram steps, and the dose range is from 800 to 1600 milligrams. Eslicarbazepine acetate is principally eliminated by the kidneys, right? So if, if you have kidney failure, then, then you have to adjust the dose. Most adverse events with this drug, with almost all drugs, are more common as the dose goes up, but it's the same range of adverse events across the dose range. Common adverse events are headache, somnolence, dizziness, blurred vision. There's a list that you can find in the package insert. Well, there are many seizure drugs, and it's hard to compare efficacy to say that one works better than another, um, but it is true that each of the drugs that's available has a different safety profile, and different patients tolerate drugs differently, so this produces an option for patients, and we find that Aptium is very well tolerated. Particularly, and it was one of our posters last year, if the drug is titrated a little bit more slowly, because our dosing allows either a start at a full effective dose immediately for patients who have an immediate need for seizure control, and it allows for titration from a lower dose over a period of weeks. And we find in our clinical trials that the patients who titrated a little bit slowly, one or two weeks to get to a full dose, had far better adverse event profiles in general than the ones who started a full dose right away. So we'll be investigating the use of the drug in pediatrics. There's a monotherapy study in Europe conducted by our partner Bial looking at use of the drug in patients with new onset disease. The monotherapy programs that we presented last year and more details about this year here were in patients who were refractory seizures that weren't well controlled and we were switching them to eslicarbazepine acetate monotherapy. The new study will be in new onset patients taking it as their first treatment. Well, there's tremendous hope. I walk up and down the posters and I see basic science studies looking at things in animals and test tubes that you think right away aren't applicable to people, but you know that they will be studied a little more detail and will find a way to translate that into new treatments. Uh, Synovian Pharmaceuticals is committed to research in neuroscience. I have other projects in a variety of neurologic disorders that we're working on and progress is progress. It what's made, that's what makes science a great thing to work on.